So let's speak of your days What you did, who said, and what is happening Oh, oh, oh I am so interested Yes, Frank Painter. Well, that's difficult to say. I imagined myself as an artist from the time I picked up a pencil, age two. Since my parents are, were writers, I didn't dare become a writer. So I kept on drawing pictures and painting, and then when I was 11 or 12 or so, I went over to my cousin Shomer's house and he taught me how to paint in oil. He was an artist. And um, when I was about 16, I really had a fisher cut bait, you know. There wasn't enough time to do everything in life that I wanted to do. So I gave up playing piano and that was no loss to the world. I was clearly not cut out to be a pianist, so I think I decided then to paint. And how did you get from the idea of becoming a painter to eventually becoming a full-time painter? Well, I had been painting, of course, all my life by then, my 16-year-old my life, and uh, I majored in art in high school. The only time they ever had such a thing as a major in art. And I don't know how many other people ever took that major, but I did. And I did some sculpture in the course of that. And uh, on Saturdays and Sundays, I would go and take various classes around New York. One from a German lady who had escaped Germany from the Bauhaus. And that was exciting. And then there were the twins, Moses and Raphael Sawyer, these sweet little Russian men who painted the life of the people. Uh, very, I could almost say holy sort of men. They had much love for humanity, and that's what I admired about them. So, and they painted, and they gave a Saturday-Sunday class. I concentrated with Moses Sawyer and spent my weekends painting from the time I was 16 on. So I guess that's when I decided to become a painter because I was a painter. Anybody paints all day long and thinks about it so much is a painter. And then sometime later on, much later, when I was 22 or so, 20, 20, and had married Morty, and I was about to go off and live wherever it would be. It, it, Moses gave me his blessing and said, well, you've done very well. You've painted some lovely pictures, and now you have to go off and find out who you are and paint from your heart. Be your own self and paint. And then... You had a family, and you put the brush down for a few years. Uh, only when I was pregnant. I couldn't do two kinds of creation at once. <laughs> but the minute I was no longer pregnant, I picked up the brush. So I painted very vigorously until pretty recently. I painted all my life. I painted here and wherever I lived up and down the East Coast. I got about as far west as Texas, but I'm still on the coast, Gulf Coast. Got over to Paris, of course, for s several years. I didn't have any water to paint there, but I may do with everything else. And went to the Mediterranean constantly. Give me another question. Um. Were there any influence, were there any painters in your family? I can't think of how many. Three come to mind instantly. 
they were a painting, an artistic family, the Zunzers, the wonderful Zunzers, my father's family. Not in my mother's family, no artists at all, but at least my great-grandfather there was a newspaper publisher, so we've had that running through the family too. Uh, anyway, my great-grandfather was a poet and a musician, very much in the line of the young rock stars of today who comment on social problems. He always had, you could say he had an axe to grind. He wanted his people to behave in a, a better way or more adventurous way or have courage and go forth. Uh, so he was an inspiration to us all. And among his children, let's see. What was his name? His name was Eliuchem Zunzer, and uh, among his children, no. There was a vaudevillian who went to Hollywood. There was my grandfather who, who inherited the great bard's uh, publishing company. He used to publish his own songs to great-grandfather. Um, smart guy. He didn't worry about publishers. He simply bought a little printing company and did it. Um, let's see, and another uncle went into social work. He used to catch errant husbands who wouldn't support their families, bring them back if they ran away, make sure they did good. Back then? Back then, yeah. And then there were three women who unfortunately just did what women do. They fed their families and raised their kids. But by the next generation, they were quite truly American. And that is my father's generation. There was a couple of painters. Uh, one relative started a little magazine about art in New York. And my father, of course, really had a great deal to do with the starting of another little magazine, Q Magazine. And let's see. But my aunt became a painter. My cousin Shomer was a fine watercolorist of the 30s. My aunt became, <laughs> she was the best designer of Christmas ornaments in the United States. But that's an artist, her work. Her little things were truly little works of art. Um, and so on and so on. And those who weren't painters at least tossed off a watercolor every now and then. And one uncle made wicked cartoons. He could have gone pro if he had wished. Uh, his, name? his name was Charles Zunzer, of course. Zunzer. They were all doing that. So, uh, I guess three. That gives us three.